Hi there everybody, this is Lydia with Also Posh Actions and I'm going to show you the little trick I learned today. It was actually one of our fans that um, uh, put a picture in the, of the before and after, a, a new way of before and after, just a different one actually. And um, I wanted to uh, see how that works and it's kind of interesting so I wanted to uh, show you my way of doing it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the right way but um, that's how I figure out how to do it. So um, anyway, this is um, the picture. Um, it's not mine. This is um, Marcy. Marcy, uh, one of our fans, sent me this picture and this is the before and this is the after and I edited the picture with uh, the Bohemian Symphony Collection and um, I wanted to show you how we're gonna do the before and after. Uh, so now if this is the before picture so you want to make sure you have both pictures open here and then we're going to go to the after picture and you want to drag it over the old picture so um, there's different ways to do it what i normally do is i press if i have let's say my brush selected i press v on my keyboard and you see how my mouse changes with that little arrow and those four the little cross what you want to do is press your mouse and grab the picture and you see that I grabbed it because you can see the outline of the picture and go over where you wanted to drop it so we want to drop it over the old one so when you're here if you just drop it nothing will happen you want to make sure you come back in the middle of the picture and drop it so there we have it you want to make sure you adjust it so it's right on top of the other one so there it is so there it is you can go over here and see before and after before and after so now what you want to do is get this I'm not sure how to say that so it's called a polygonal laser tool I believe so so if I say it wrong I am so sorry just you can see that I'm not very good with the names but I know what they do what the tools do so that's what it's what's important but anyway, so you want to go into in one of the corners. So go there and just drag it across the bottom of the picture. Let me see if this is right, okay? And then don't let go and just go all the way. Ah, see, I let go. That's not good. Okay, let's start over. Oh, darn it. Nancy it so let's start it again okay like I said it, could, it might be a different option okay so we dropped it in the corner like let 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 your mouse go in the corner let go in the corner over there and then come and drag it all the way here in this corner so let's see there it is now okay so I guess it didn't take it here so let's do it again here there it is. So it made the selection. It's a little tricky. Maybe there is another way to do it and I just don't know. But anyway, you just go and drag it from one corner, then release your mouse here, go to here, release it, and go back and release it. And then all you have to do is just add a layer mask. And there it is, before and after. How cool is that? Before and after. And then you can just write, put text, and so select T for text and just write, you know, straight out of the camera. Okay, you can't see it over there, so uh, here it is. If you want to make the text bigger, write it there. There it is. Well, I would make it bigger, but anyway, that's the idea. I hope it helps. Thank you so much, guys, for all your support, and I promise I'll have more videos coming soon. Bye.